Hey, I'm Kate from the Small Thing Blog, and the tutorial I have today for you, I have called The Disaster. Um, I texted my friend and said that I think, I sent her a picture and said I think I'm going to name this one The Disaster, and she replied with, you and I have very different ideas of what we refer to as a disaster. So what happened was I was filming a tutorial for a different style that just looked terrible. And so I took it all down and I was like, oh, I gotta do something. And so I just sort of twisted and pinned my hair and this was the result. And I was like, hey, for like a messy updo, could go casual or formal, I'll do a quick tutorial on this one. So I don't usually have my finished style when I'm starting my video, but this just happened. And so I went and took photos of it really quick. And now I'm back to show you how I did it. Okay, so to get that look, you definitely want to have some texture in your hair. All mine is left over from the prep I did from the other tutorial that you will never see. <laughs> um, but the way I did it is with Kenra's Platinum Line uh, Dry Texture Spray. The number is six. Uh, this is a great texture spray. You feel it on your hair, um, so it makes it really effective. But if you do not like the feeling of product on your hair, but you want texture, you should get used to the feeling of product on your hair, and this would be what it's gonna deliver. Another alternative would be to use a texture powder. I like Redken's um, Powder Grip 03. So whether you use a spray or a powder, you need something to give your hair a little bit of grit. So all I did was spray this throughout and kind of work it in. So if you've got a texture spray or dry shampoo, do that. If you have a texture powder, sort of dump it in at your roots and then work it out to your ends but this is gonna make the pins hold much better and give you a nice fluffy base to start with. So the goal for this look is vertical. I'm gonna work in three sections, starting at the top, middle, and then bottom. If you've got super thick hair or um, a longer head than I have, you might wanna divide it into four sections. It doesn't matter how many sections you use. If you've got really fine hair, you might only need to do two sections with a little bit of stretching, but the goal is to work up and down instead of horizontally. This next part is very technical, so make sure you pay close attention. Sense my sarcasm. You wanna grab a top layer of your hair and bring it to where you want that updo to start. So I'm sort of loosely holding everything. Give it a little bit of a messy twist. Press it against your head. And then wherever your fingers are holding the hair is exactly where you wanna pin. Don't worry about tidying anything up. We'll do that at the end. And just continue that same technique until you reach the nape of your neck. Once you have the initial sections pinned, grab any of the loose hairs and either pin them above or below where they're sticking out. To make it look even messier, pull out a couple of the hairs around your face so it doesn't look like you're trying to have a super formal updo. And then you have mastered it, the disaster. Um, I need to think of a different name for this. Maybe I'll put it in the title but it's just a really easy way to get your hair off your neck and not be a ponytail um, and not be overthought or something too perfect. So all you need are bobby pins like you saw. I finished with a fair amount of hairspray, but it's okay if it sort of softens and relaxes a little bit. As long as you've got those good pins in there and plenty of texture to start, it shouldn't fall out completely. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you wanna see any others, be sure to visit thesmallthingsblog.com.